Okay, let's get this out in the open. I hate creating videos. It takes too long. I hate the editing. I don't like my voice. And I can speak English as well, so you can uh, write it, I think. But I want to take this opportunity to demonstrate the um, ultimate flexibility provided by the uh, amazing AXFX, the uh, awesome Mastermind GT controller uh, from RGM. This is a 22 button version. I've got a, a really nice mission a pedal there, a single expression pedal. And this is all controlled by using a single preset on the AXFX. Uh, you can see it uh, here, it's a stereo. It has a, 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 a ultra S single cabinet. And you can download it from the forum if you like. Okay. Six scenes there are in this uh, main preset uh, of uh, mine. Um, if I press this scenes button here, the bottom row of presets turns into a scene selection row. There are five scene buttons. Uh, you heard me saying there are six scenes in this uh, preset. Well, I can get to the last scene, scene six, by using this uh, top left scene up button, which uh, also can come in handy uh, at other occasions. Um, scene one is my um, main clean tone. It's the uh, 5F8 uh, uh, tweed model which is Keith Urban's uh, double verb uh, amp which I like a lot because we see that really nice really funky tone. There's just a little bit of compression indicated by the highlighted comp text here and there's a little bit of spring reverb. I just switched to page 2 on the controller of the single, the same preset. And there's this green reverb button here, which indicates that it's engaged. If it's red, it's bypassed. I'm going back to the first page. Now, suppose I want to change this tone a little bit without changing scenes, without changing to another preset. Well, my preset uh, provides the following tools for this. First of all, I have a drive block in there, which is normally set to a super screamer, but it's state Y. I just switched between X and Y by holding this button. It's stage, state Y provides the uh, SDD preamp. Um, normal tone. As a deep preamp, it just adds a little bit of top end kind, which uh, I like a lot. Off, on, off, on. By just pressing the scene button again, everything is reset to its stored state. I also uh, can enable the boost switch in the amp model. This is assigned to this switch. You see that the boost text up there. Normally I uh, uh, won't use it with my clean tone, but rather with the dirty tones. But just to show you, here it is. Off. A rather nice tone, although it does bump up the volume a lot. Now, for some single note runs, I like to have a, a parametric EQ uh, engaged by holding this switch, it's in front of the amp, and it kind of emulates the clone sand tower. Uh, you know the infamous clone sand tower, which has got a lot of attention in the past uh, months. So let me uh, show you this. Off and on. it a lot. Now suppose I uh, want to uh, change my thunder tone into uh, something more like a Vox. Well I can do that. I just switch to page 2 on the controller and you see that amp 1 is selected in the preset and I can switch the amp 1 block 
between its two states. I now switch to the Y state and it will change from the Fender into uh, a matchless uh, amp. <coughs> That's the way to do it. Now let's run through the other effects provided on this page of the MIDI controller. I already explained the scene up switch, which is also an easy way to, as you can see on the bottom one, to switch between all the scenes. Back to scene one. The compressor I already explained. This is a tuner button, and the RGM controller has a very high res tuner display. Awesome stuff. You gotta see the switch here. This uh, controls an external controller in the preset. Well, I haven't uh, assigned it to anything in this preset. I'll just sh change to another preset to show how it uh, uh, works. Let me check where I do this. Okay, here. Okay, here I have a Remy preset, which indicates on the bottom switch, which means that I can use this uh, switch button to do something special. In this case, it will automatically drop the pitch. Here we go. Well, that uh, should explain it. Other effects there are. I've got a nice MXR phaser programmed. By holding the switch, it switches to Y and that provides a univibe. Yeah, as always, you gotta play bridge of size to demonstrate the vibe. I've got a flanger. I've got a triangle chorus placed behind the amp for stereo. Vibrato uh, mode in the chorus block while my phone is ringing uh, in the background. Just ignore it. I can change uh, to the rotary uh, block. By holding the switch, I go into fast mode. Same applies to the tremolo. Now, if I want to uh, uh, bump up the volume a little bit for leads. Uh, I can uh, engage this lead switch, which is a graphic EQ um, at 3.6 decibels or something like that, I don't know. Now, this is a delay. Just a small little bit of delay. If I want it louder and longer, I'll do this. again the Y mode of the delay block. Now I can use this block to engage a volume, automatic uh, volume swells. Let's try that. Let's switch to the uh, uh, second page, and there's this pedal button here. This enables me to switch the functionality of this pedal between two external controls. Uh, normally it would be uh, pedal 1, which is external 1, but in some presets, I'm going to show you something like with that. In some presets I can uh, make this pedal perform double duty. 
by assigning it to external uh, one or two. This is done on the RGM MIDI controller. Uh, I've selected, uh, uh, recalled a, a preset here, uh, which uh, provides me with some slapback delay. Pushing uh, uh, the pedal down um, uh, increases uh, the delay feedback. Let's suppose I want the uh, pedal to act like a wall while, while uh, being in this preset. Okay, I'll go here. I'll push that button. Pedal 2 is indicated, and now the pedal will act as a wah. Wah. <laughs> So that's how that works. Uh, let me see. I think I've covered everything in this uh, clean presets. Yes, I have. Now, I'll go to the next scene, which is exactly the same, but this time it's a Friedman uh, amp model. And I'm using scenes here because the, uh, 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 there are no audio gaps when uh, changing this way between uh, uh, the scenes. Um, let me show you this. This is my preset button. I have the same scenes also assigned to separate presets. Uh, that's because it's easy to uh, recall a certain preset instead of going to preset 1, scene 5 or something. This is just faster. But changing between this does have some... Uh, it's, an, it's not seamless. It does have some gaps between the sound while using just the first preset with scenes is uh, uh, pretty much seamless. Okay, scene one is a crunch tone. Scene three is the same, but I'm using scene controllers to adjust the amount of gain. The scene controller is controlling the uh, drive parameter in uh, the Friedman and block in scenes two up to six. So this is just more gain. Scene 4 again, just more gain. Also, in scene 4, I have enabled the drive block set to a tube screen for a more smooth, smooth tone. Also, scene 5 provides me with my uh, lead uh, tone. Well, scene 6 does the same but it just bumps up uh, the delay a bit. Well, these are uh, all my uh, scenes and switches, etc. Let me uh, uh, show you what's uh, more. Um, at any moment, uh, I can uh, um, pull up a list of all my presets by using the menu button. And this makes it very easy to have a display of all my presets and choosing whatever I want at any time. Okay. Uh, this one's empty. Uh, if I want uh, to go back very quickly to my main preset, I don't have to use the up and down button, etc. I can just hold this button and I'm back at where I started. My main preset is kind of like a global preset. That's why the text is there. Also, if I know uh, the preset number I want to recall, and I don't want to use the list or up and down, I can just hold the switch, which goes, uh, enables a number mode, and I can just uh, enter the number of the preset uh, I want to recall, and there we go, we just went from uh, 1 to, uh, to uh, 101. Also, if I want to switch between two presets very quickly, I can use the previous button, there we go. Just holding that button and again switches between the current and the previous presets. It's a very handy way to uh, to do stuff. Okay, this is uh, about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye.